Hello, my name is Magali Gauthier and I'm a postdoctoral associate in the Electrochemical Energy Laboratory headed by Professor Yang Shaohorn at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. In our paper, we focus on the electrode-electrolyte interface in lithium-ion battery. The electrode-electrolyte interface is one or even the most important parameter in lithium-ion battery, affecting safety and lifetime of the batteries. Let's have a look at what we discussed in our paper. In a simple way, a lithium-ion battery is constituted of a negative electrode, generally graphite, a positive electrode, such as lithium cobalt oxide, separated by an electrolyte, which consists of a salt dissolved in organic solvent. During charge, lithium ions are deserted from the positive electrode, migrate through the electrolyte and insert at a negative electrode. While under discharge, the contrary occurs. Simultaneously, electrons are passing through the external circuit, producing current. Let's now take a closer look at the negative electrode. On the negative side, during charge, the lithium ion, solvated by solvent molecules, approach the surface of the graphite. After losing the solvation shell, the lithium ion are inserted into the graphite sheets. At that step, the potential of the negative electrode is very low and there is a thermodynamic driving force for electrolyte reduction, leading to the formation of the composition product that deposits on the surface. This layer of product on lithium metal or graphite is called solid electrolyte interface or SEI. It is believed to have a mosaic structure composed of different degradation products such as lithium oxide, lithium fluoride, lithium carbonate or oligomers. Its formation is detrimental to the battery because it's reversibly consuming lithium and electrons. However, the formation of this SEI layer is also kind of a miracle that allows our battery to work. This layer serves as a protection on the graphite electrode. The lithium ion can pass through it, but not the electrons, avoiding further degradation of the electrolyte and providing good efficiency of the battery. Many parameters influence the nature of the solid electrolyte interface, such as the composition of the electrolyte, the nature of the electrode, and its surface orientation. Now what about the interface on the positive? The positive electrode is generally a lithium layer oxide, such as lithium cobalt oxide. The interface at the positive side is kind of a grey area in literature. Thermodynamically, there should be no oxidation of the electrolyte up to potential close to 4.5 volt, and we should thus not observe any decomposition of the electrolyte through electrochemical reaction. However, some products such as semicarbonate and lithium fluoride, similar to those on the negative electrode, are detected on the surface of positive electrodes. The question are thus, how and why are these species forming? Is the layer conductive or resistive to lithium ion and electrons, and how it finally influences the battery performance? Research groups have been working for more than 40 years on the electrode electrolyte interface, and still plenty of questions remain. This is what we are trying to address in this perspective, where we are giving new insights on how to better understand the electrode electrolyte interface layer. We invite you to read our paper for more details and future direction for fundamental research on the interface in lithium-ion battery.